first thing I do is camp A equals 0, colon, 0, colon, 1, colon, 4. And it gives me columns 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's five columns altogether. That's called a 1 by 5 array. Next thing I want to do is key in now a row column matrix. So B equals square brackets, 0, space, 1, space, 2, semicolon, new row. 3, space, 4, space, 5, semicolon, new row. 6, space, 7, space, 8, square brackets, hit enter, and there we go. I got three rows and three columns. Wow. Now, uh, let's say I wanted to uh, create a series of numbers. I'll call it C now. C equals starting at 0, incremented by 0.25. Keep going until you get to 0.75. And that gives me 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, 1, 2, 3. Or 1, 2, 3, 4 columns of numbers. Okay. Let's go back to B. B and enter. I'll post my numbers. Look at this value right here. That's 5. What location is that? That's row 2, and that's column 3. I think so. So let's find out. B, row 2, column 3, close friends, and that's my 5. What do you know? Huh. Well, uh, what if I wanted to print out what the system thinks are B's first six numbers. All right, B, print out the from starting from one to six. What do you think of the first six numbers of your array? All right, and you go zero, three, six, one, four, seven. Huh, that's zero, three, six, one, four, seven. It's going down, zero, three, six, one, four, seven. Huh, that's what he thinks the first six numbers are. Well, you know, that's called slicing, by the way. Now, let's key in B again. I want to print out zero, row zero, one, two, and three, four, five, nothing else. How do I do this? Well, I say, show me uh, or matrix B from the first to the second row, from the second comma to the second, and from the second to the third col column, like that. And it'll give me 1, 4, 2, 5. Wow, that was good. That was really very good. Let's start assigning, let's start changing values here. B is this. I want to change this guy from 8 to 9. How do I do that? Well, I could say B. Um, one, two, three, row three, column three, equals nine. Oh, there we go. It worked. It was eight. Now it's nine. Huh. Can we do others? Sure. Well, what about this guy here? Let's change him to ten. So row, uh, matrix B, uh, row one, two, three, column two, equals ten. And it worked. It was seven. Now it's ten. That's amazing. All right. All right, we've done enough of that. Uh, I want to put in a, another row. How many rows do I have? I have one, two, three rows. I want to put in a fourth row. So I'm going to say, take B. I want to add in a fourth row. But I don't want to add an extra column, so I'll put a colon there. And uh, what values do I want to put in to, those, uh, to those, those three items, three columns in that row, the new row? Well, starting at five, I want to increment each value until you get to nine. So it'll be five, seven, and nine, I think. And uh, let's move that out of the way. That looks good to me. Say enter. And there we go. Row four. Five. Seven and nine. Huh, it worked. Ah, let's put in a row and then we'll stop. Uh, so I want to add in a row, uh, not a row, uh, a column. Let's put in a column called in an extra column in B. And I don't want to put in a row, so I'm going to put in a colon there, comma. And I've got three columns. I want to put in a fourth column. What do I want in that fourth column? Well, I want each one of the rows in the column to equal square brackets one, two, three, four. Four values. One, semicolon, means on the next row, two, on the next row, three, on the next row, four. That'll do it. Yeah, I think that's good. That means put in another column, and row 1 should be that, row 2 should be that, row 3 should be this value. Uh, I could change those up. doesn't have to match the rows. I put any value in there. Okay, here we go. Oh, there we go. We got ourselves an extra, an extra column over here. That's amazing. Okay, that's it for now. So long from charge. Bye-bye now.